drama in the markets today. A quiet morning didn't stay that way. A couple of hours into trading, stocks dropped sharply. At one point, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was off 250 points. It finished down 195 at 18,143. The Nasdaq fell 49, and the S&P 500 was off 20. Now, the reason for the swoon, a Bloomberg report that some hedge funds cut their exposure to Germany's Deutsche Bank. That sent shares of Deutsche Bank to an all-time low and rippled into the U.S. financial sector. That's because the report was reminiscent of the financial crisis, when investors sold on news of counterparties pulling business with banks like Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns. And that nervousness seeped then into the broader market. Bob Pisani explains why. The markets were fairly quiet midday when a report from Bloomberg on Deutsche Bank dropped the markets. They reported some hedge funds that cleared derivatives trades with the bank had withdrawn some positions. It's a possible sign of concern about doing business with the bank. It's not much of a story, but it did revive long dormant memories of 2008. Deutsche Bank dropped 7 percent on this. European banks that traded in the U.S. dropped about 3 percent. U.S. banks dropped. J.P. Morgan dropped 1 1.5 percent. And the S&P dropped nearly 20 points before recovering some of those losses. Now, wait a minute. What do possible issues at Deutsche Bank have to do with J.P. Morgan? On the surface, there's not much. But in the post-financial crisis worldview, it doesn't take much. The concern is that if Deutsche Bank did go under, it would cause a crisis of confidence in Europe. Never mind the chances are small that would happen. It's small, but it's not zero. And problems with one bank could lead to higher credit costs and slower economic growth in general. And remember, markets hate uncertainty. Traders losing confidence in your viability as a bank, that was a big issue in 2008. What about the rest of the market? Why, for example, did Whirlpool drop $2 on this? Well, the simple answer is that today's trading action is dominated by traders who will pull their bids when there's market uncertainty. When you have heavier volume and fewer bids, prices drop to attract the buyers. You throw in trend-following programs, momentum guys, and that will more than adequately explain how stocks that are not correlated could drop together. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.